thought we got quite a strong opening play here. Yep. <laughs> Neither player is choosing to pick rock, paper, or scissors. I wonder, um, both of them have three cards set right now. I wonder what yep. their strategy is here. Um, the April, April 2014 format in one picture. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh my gosh. Back row, back row, back row. Speaking of which, this guy's picture is artifact uh, Moral Talk. talk. <laughs> So good, so good. Uh, you tell him to go, right? Maybe I should message him. Tell him to go. I, I messaged him. Tell Bill. I don't know if you saw it. I'll do the uh, what is it? Faf or that one? Uh, go. Yeah, I messaged him again. All right. Is it recording this, or did you stop, or did you cut it? No, it's it. I'm recording. He says, oh Let's great. Go. Yeah, well, I, I, I just messaged no, him again. Broken. Yeah, so yeah, we're 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 recording right now. We're not live, but we're yeah, we're recording What's right up, now. What's up, guys? It's Simo, and today I want to talk to you guys about. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Simo. Today I'm going to talk to you about Larvae Moth for fucking twenty goddamn minutes. <laughs> Tech Tuesday. This week's card is Larvae Moth, a great card that will really bug your opponent out. <laughs> that guy drives me nuts. <laughs> Uh, like, like I, I, what's sad is like I like him as a person a lot. Like we message every now and then. He's fine as a person. But I can't stand his content. It sucks so hard. I don't, know. I don't know how people watch it, but he's so, he's I such a nice a, guy. I played against him on DN one time. He was playing BA and I was playing. Ooh, we have spirals. I, I think it was. Oh, I like spirals. Uh, I was playing like something that could make rank seven, um, and he and I had a flare metal up. And he went Dante to attack, and like then it switches to defense mode in main phase. Yeah. In main phase two, and we were like, wait, does he take 500 from that? Because does that activate? Yeah, I think um, it does. I don't know. I don't know. All I remember, the only reason I remember that conversation was because like, I remember comparing it to Spear Dragon. Yeah. From the freaking Game Boy game. <laughs> 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 That's the freaking only. Bro. That's the only reference I had. Dude, can't you, you um, could actually play Spear Dragon. Someone was talking about it in GOAT one time, and I was like, ah, I don't know if I would take that over, like, was you it know. Legal? Was it legal? I part? think I think so. That? Let me look it up. Maybe I'm talking about another card, but I'm pretty sure. 1900, 1900 piercing. Yeah, yeah, 1900 piercing is switched to defense. Yeah, it, yeah, it was around the GOAT. Yeah. Yeah, people were talking about it, and I'm like, uh, you can play I mean, it's, a better card. It's cards. searchable with Tempest. It's searchable with Tempest. Oh, yeah, it is. Anyways, though, I'm Star Goblin. This is Cheddar Bob, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> with, with, with Cheddar Bob once again. <laughs> I don't know what Sam's doing. Sam's dead. Like, <laughs> Sam died. <laughs> In the arms so, of an angel. So, 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 Sam's been calling me about random stuff. He called me uh, the, the day before yesterday, and he goes, hey, I have a Microsoft question. And I was like, okay. And he goes, well, um, so uh, my iPhone, it recorded, but there's no sound. And I was like, how is that a Microsoft question? <laughs> He's like, because when I try to watch it, you know, in, in, in Windows a Media Player, it doesn't work. And I was like, okay, what about when you dump it in Premiere? He goes, it still doesn't work. And I'm like, oh, it's the phone. And he goes, oh, no. Oh, I got Despots. Oh, Despots. I'm sorry. That story sounds amazing, but I just saw a Despots uh, Sam's really just amazing. asked, it's all the story short. Sam just, he bugs me about random crap. That's all you need to know. <laughs> gotcha. And then I won't right, hear from now... him for like a week, and then he'll bug me about something random again. <laughs> This is where my math major skills are going to come in clutch. Oh, are you a math major? Uh, math econ, yeah. Oh, dude, badass. So oh. I am one of the, so I'm physically capable of playing despots. Yeah, dude, for real. Fluffles, yeah. fluffles too. Yeah. Well, fluffles like. They boost. I mean. Yeah, but not not to the point that despots. I mean, like despots, you got three. You got like, imagine you have two threes out. And two twos out. Yeah. And then you use both three effects on different things. It's like, how much does everything boost? Yeah, that's true. And oh, it's he, like, he's yeah. got the pendulum, too. The, the... He added that off of Death Spot 2, right? Yeah, yeah. I think so. He can have pendulum seven monsters. Yeah, he might. Not if he has Machine Doom. If he has Machine Doom, this is game. Machine Duplication is a fantastic card. Machine Duplication is an amazing card. So he's got a scale. Um, now is this you can only pendulum despots? You can only special. You can only pendulum despots. Pendulum des despots. Um, you can still special summon it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. 
Oh Which my I... god, he's pendulumming another two. And wow. The four. So really what are nice. their attacks at, dude? So, all right, all right, let me let me math this real quick. Okay. Um, so, two boosts all of them by 500 except itself. So, the th the the three and the four are both at a thousand. Um, and so far that's the only. Or sorry, the three and the four are both at 15, and then the, each two is a thousand. Okay, so 15, 15, thousand, thousand. Gotcha. Yes. And then the three can boost one of them up. By, what's, by 3k. Oh my god. Yeah. So he could risk um, it right here and do a lot of damage. I don't think that would be OP case. I don't think that would be game though, especially since he upstarted. Yeah, true. Yeah. But he added another 3 in his hand, so now, which is like, so he's got to play next turn too. For sure. Um, I'm wondering what that set monster is. I'm trying to think what you said in Spiral. Although, no, I think the the Waifu Waitress is a uh, battle floater, I think. I think. I don't know. Okay, so he's, yeah, he's boosting the Despot 4 mm -hmm. up by... Okay, so now the Despot 4 is at... Oh, my... Wow, wow that's a card. Wow, and he kaijued. The, the Despot 4 is... Oh, he said the Super Agent. Interesting. So the Despot 4 is at 45. Right. Now. Yep, the red one. He's at 45, so that'll easily get over the uh, Thunder King. Yeah. Probably going to enter battle phase now, unless there's something uh, in the pendulum effects. No. Nope. So both pendulum effects are exactly the same. Correct. Ooh, now, he's yeah. Something. Um, he's either go for Sky Cavalry? Oh, no, no, no. He's going to go for a What's-His-Dick. Uh, Phoenix? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Dagesto Phoenix. Oh, what's but he, he didn't. What is that? I don't oh, know. This, oh, this thing! Is this TCG? This is TCG. Oh, okay. This is, this is new. This is new. I mean, not, like, from the new set. It's from, uh... It's, it's, it's legal. It's legal. Okay, okay. Um, you can... You, I was just making sure if you attach and target one face of monster, you put it until the end. Oh! I don't think that really... Well, actually, that might save him. Oh, actually, yeah, oh, it, this it, is actually it, really it, nasty. What, what, uh, Fafli? I think it's, I think Felix is Fafli. Uh, I think Felix Fafli. is too, and then the other guy is. And then it's, uh, Nicholas is the other one. But yeah, so the so, Thunder King's yeah, still Felix zeroed out. Nuts. So. Yeah, so that's 45 to the face. And. 15, right? Where yeah, and, it? uh, no, it would be. It, it changed. The twos, are, the twos are gone. But yeah. actually. The twos are gonna. So what happens here is actually you might have an OTK here because it depends on how. Because four has the effect that when it kills something by battle, you can special summon two uh, two despots from your grave or hand that are different levels. Right. Uh, but they're in defense position. Oh, he's milling from deck. But he can't. But then he can't take damage. Why is he milling from deck? I don't know what he's doing. Oh, uh, why is he milling from deck? I'm pretty sure he'd have an OTK, or at least close. No, no, he he would have a lot of damage on board, but it would not be an OTK. Well, because well, he would summon a two from grave and then right. the three from hand. So the two, and then the uh, the three that he summons could then boost the other three. That's true. By three K, so I'm pretty sure that would be like that would be at least I think that would be eight K. Think or eight or nine, something like that. Math major powers are failing me. <laughs> um. Okay, so yeah, he gets to summon stuff. See, that was more of a geometry guy. Yeah, but I mean, I was just like, I don't know. Ooh, so yeah. Well, whatever, gets... whatever you need math with, just like adding numbers up, just use a freaking calculator. For real, calculators uh, won't let you down. Yeah. Unless you want to like show off and do that, and it's in your head. Yeah. I wonder. Believe it or not, Sam as derpy as Sam is, like Sam could do insane math in his head. I don't know how he does it because I think he's retarded. 
he's reverse Asianized. Yeah, pretty, he's reverse Asianized. I think so. I think he is reverse Asianized. Now, so, Sam's just goofy, and, and like it's it's crazy because he'll be like in a duel, and like he'll get all serious and be like, I'll be like, how much damage is that? And he would like rattle off, he like three six hundred. I'm like, okay. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. I remember uh, I was writing my, uh, it was a while ago, but my uh, college resume, mm -hmm. and it needed to know, and it was a, a summer, and we needed to, for everything you put on your resume, you had to uh, say like hours per week that you did it. Yeah. And it was summer camp, so it was all week. And so uh, it was me, my mom, and then our friend who was like helping me out. Mm -hmm. um, and she and my mom was like, "Hey, wait, how many hours is that a week if it's every day?" And I was like, tw "And I was like, oh, 168." Yeah. And then the advisor just like laughing hysterically because it's because uh, I was like, "What? 24 hours, seven days, 168? What's the problem?" <laughs> At me. So, I mean, that's good. Like, this is a good play, but I'm. Pretty sure he had a. Well, let's see. He added five, and he has a. Like he has, he's in a very good position. Felix is, but I'm pretty sure he had a note. Like I definitely think he had a better play here. Yeah, I think he could have won. Um, now that you mentioned all that, I think he could have won a lot. Uh, was... The other thing that I was thinking was, um, because Despot One has the effect of uh, when when two or more Despots are summoned at the same time, or it might be two or more machines. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, then you can summon it, it from the grave. Mm -hmm. So I wonder. So I'm wondering why he bothered to summon that with the force effect, as opposed to just summoning something else with the force effect. And oh. then I wonder. No clue. And then the, so, I mean, I don't think it's ultimately going to matter. But at the same time, is that another friggin' slumber? Really? Um. He you build a slumber off the Nat Beast, freaking bro. No, two, slum <laughs> two, two slumbers, slumbers off, off the Nat Beast? I, I wouldn't pay attention. I'm cutting out a shipping label. <laughs> so much strikes, bro. So much strikes. Now, the, and the add effect, the effect of slumber to add kaiju is, uh, is not once per turn. It's just as long as it wasn't uh, set to grave that turn. But, like, he can use both slumber effects. Yeah, like, I... <sighs> Felix, he, he probably won right here. Like, yeah. uh, depending on his hand. Uh, I mean, he could overlay. No, no, he can't because that, that's a two and a three. Yeah, never mind. I mean, you could literally just go summon three, get nine, and that's I'm pretty sure that'd be game. Or just summon three, get... Yeah, like, something. He has, he has stuff. Yeah, he's got four cards in hand. He's got to have something. Yeah. Unless he's got, like, a kaiju or something, then that's really dead. Well, let's see. As it stands... Because he's not banishing, he's not banishing the slumbers to search kaiju's, so he very possibly could have uh, drawn those kaiju's. So he's summoning the five, which is an MST on summon, so he can pop one of the scales, one of the target five and scale, okay. which are all wavering eyes in this deck was actually super nutty, because uh, the five, because like the the two that he had just had in his scales, the five. When it pops, summons a despot to grave. Yeah. And the six, when it's pop, um, adds one from grave. Bro, I do not miss wavering eyes format. I'm just gonna say that right now. <laughs> okay, wavering eyes. Wave. I don't know. I really wish that I could be just a fly in the wall in the Konami R and D department. Yeah. yeah. And legitimately just like, because it legitimately boggles my mind with a lot of these cards. It's like, do they actually think? That these are okay. Well, I felt like, like Wavering Eyes was more okay before Pepe, but it was still terrible. And ma like Magician Mirror Match with with uh, Wavering Eyes was still a pain in the ass, but it was way better than Pepe. Like the was... irony is the what's funny about that now that you say that is that with uh, once Pendulum Sorcerer came out, mm -hmm. Wavering Eyes in a way became more fair because you didn't before Pendulum Sorcerer came out. Like in the Magician deck, you really didn't have a way to clear your scales. Right. Um, reliably, like your only way to play around wavering eyes was either to like diamond, like main phase two, go diamond dire to pop your scales, or like have a damage juggler or a pendulum call to protect them. Dragon pit. Um, but yeah, there's yeah, a scoop. There's the scoop. Yeah, dra uh, you could. Uh, there's a. I called it the magician loop, but you'd go wisdom, wisdom, uh, then you know pit, uh, pit oaf, oaf add back wisdom, pitch another pendulum besides wisdom from your hand to pop the oaf, you know, with dragon pit. 
then yeah. set and yeah. then activate the wisdom and then go again. They go they'll go over again, then you pin however much. Yeah. Right. So it's like, but I it's like love there that really move. wasn't a way to like there was no other way to really play around Wavering Eyes mid combo. Like the only way to really play around it was either to just have protection from it in the form of either like juggler or pendulum call and that was really yes good. back in or, back then dude it was i mean i can't tell you how many times it was like wavering juggler wavering again you know what i mean but if they didn't have it then it was just a blowout like, right they had to have it yeah they had um, to have the, another wavering that they had to have a wavering set or a juggler you know what i mean and yeah. like it was it was stupid <laughs> but then once pendulum sorcerer came out like you could clear your scales with sorcerer right and um, it, it did make it kind um, of more fair you know in a, in a yeah stupid way I guess. yeah fight cancer with cancer yeah fight cancer um, literally fight cancer with cancer yeah. that's uh that's how i it's that's how i describe the uh it's funny because so i don't think i've told this story uh I, when cliffort first came out i played it for about three days mm-hmm. and because i was i was legitimately really hyped for cliffort because i was like this is because it was the first like real pendulum deck. Yeah, it's gonna be good. And I yeah. saw Scout as like a ravine equivalent, and then I played it for three days on Defro, and I was like, "This is the most boring fucking deck I've ever played in my life. <laughs> All I'm doing is flipping skill drain." Yep. <laughs> Dude, I mean, um, but, but around but Necros then, format, you uh, were happy to have those skill drains and <laughs> and vanities. You know? No, 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 I don't. I dumped the board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like I never, yeah, I was just like, I mean, it was good. I just hated it. <laughs> That's um, how I felt about, I, uh, I, I don't like helmet decks. Like I'm a big, I'm avidly anti floodgate, anti, you know, those cards. Well, well ask Sam, like, that's why I sold my, I had Mac almost, so it was like, if it wasn't Max, it was like near Max, um, uh, Toad Heroes, right? When that, when that deck was like really good when it first came out, you know, when Toad first came out. Yeah. And I had, cause I had the ulti hero lives, ulti bubble man, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, uh. I sold it like two weeks in because <laughs> it was just, just it was it was too boring like it really was it was yeah. just kind of like um that's not how that works and plus like heroes like okay. it's one of those decks you like blow your load and then if you get kaiju or something or you just lose what is happening I'm okay. not sure I don't know I'm not very familiar with uh, no, spiral no 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 but he just okay so he knows um like he terraforming for a spiral quick fix and I was like um. There. Legit. <laughs> yeah. MLG, bro. Uh, but then he just he just put it back. Um, that's better. Um, what's that? So yeah. Okay. So now he's getting the. Oh, we got a ghost ogre. Oh my god. Ooh, that's clutch. Show me the other one. Other resort. I actually know spirals. I don't know a lot of what the new stuff does, but I know the, I know a good bit about it because a good friend of mine and Nelson's uh, played it a lot. The only person I know that plays spirals is Team Innovation Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, Goku. Ooh, I haven't seen that before though. Really, it's just someone. Interesting. No tokens. I guess he. Hmm. I was thinking, cause I don't. I was thinking, why would he summon the Gofu? But I was like, I think he just summoned the Gofu just to as, just to have something so he doesn't get OTK. Yeah. But then why wouldn't he summon the token? Cause why wouldn't you rather wall up with three monsters? Cause none of the death spots pierce, except for either seven or eight. Um, interesting. So we got the upstart. The one up, or two of. Yeah, we put upstart two. Oh, twisters. So he's going to neg one. But actually, the death spot one. Uh, oh, okay. I mean, depending on what else what else he has, that, that could summon itself back. Um, I, I actually found it. I didn't think about this until, like, the other day. But I just realized how funny it was that you guys put upstart to two and I was like so we can have a 38 card deck but you thought having a 37 card deck would be two boxes <laughs> that was our logic actually was that actually yeah like, unironically no 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 like 
it was just kind of like, I wanted Nintendo 3, and he was like, well, I don't want, and like, you know, Sam was like, well, I don't want everybody playing Exodia or Chainbird or some crap, or, you know what I mean? Like, he didn't okay, want FTKs. The upstart, the upstart to 3. Would, if you guys didn't want FTKs, just ban Explosion and Life Equalizer. Yeah, that's, but he wanted to, Sam, Sam is just a fucking, if it were up to me, we'd have 3 upstart and Exodia banned, okay? Let's put it that way. If it yeah. were up to me, okay? But, it, like, but I had to work with Sam's you know, goofy ass, so, <laughs> like, <laughs> it was... Now, shit, now I'm tempted to play an FTK deck in the finals, just to make a point. Yeah. <laughs> if, yeah, yeah, I might, yeah. You know what, if I make it to the finals, I'm gonna play Dragoon or the FTK, just to say, screw you. <laughs> <laughs> um, nah, maybe not Dragoon or the FTK, because that can actually lose. <laughs> maybe Ignite FTK, I'm not sure. So there's three. Yep, there's three. I think this is... I think this is the shortest... Well, knock on the couch, but... I think this is the... So far, looking to be the shortest match we've had. Just because of how Despots operate. Yeah, um... That means... Like, that, I mean... It is what it is. I mean, you know... Yeah! We, I mean, we, left, we left Strike. I mean, he's playing Strike. We left all the traps alone. I, I don't think we... Did we hit any traps? Uh... Uh, uh, or Im Imper Barrier, yeah, Imperial Order. Imperial Order. Yeah, we hit one card uh, wins. Uh, we left Skill Drain to one because Skill Drain to one's not an auto win by any means, so we just left it alone. It depends. Like, I know Nelson kind of uh, had this debate with me of Van why is Majesty's Fiend significantly more fair than Vanity's Fiend? Oh, dude. Now, I don't, <laughs> now, I don't like either of them, but with Majesty's Fiend, you can still, like, summon a, like a rank 4 or something to beat over it and oh that's game well I think that's game might be actually wait what did he add yeah that's game <laughs> you can't you that's can't uh, kaiju vanity's fiend right no. um, yeah that's why that's why can't, yeah because yeah, you can't attempt a special effect. yeah that's that's why we uh, left majesties instead of vanity's well, the ki kaijus. Well, the kaijus, but even if you don't have a kaiju like you can have like just summon like uh, summon a level 4 like if I'm playing Herald, for example, I can go like summon Scepter, instant fusion, or instant fusion, bring out another level four, and then just make like Utopia and beat over it. Yeah. Um, and that's a. Uh... Is he not playing Despot Nine? Maybe he's not. I mean, I think this is game regardless, but that's just kind of odd that he's not playing it. Well, we had that Fluffle player that wasn't playing Wolf. And, like I was like, dude, he's not playing Wolf. He's not playing Wolf. You're yeah. like, well, maybe he's not making it. I was like, no, he's not playing it. And then we well, got that deck profile from it from him, and he wasn't playing it. I was like, told you, dude. <laughs> well, that's well, that's well, Kraken, like, can put out. Nah, I mean, fair point. But like nine, there are like there are certain FTKs. Like let's say he like let's say he did have the tokens. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, no. Nine here wouldn't be game. I'm an idiot because nine makes it so the other things can't attack. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just. I might be good at math, but I'm. <laughs> I'm, I'm good at math, but I'm terrible at Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, is this the one that pierces? Um, can you summon attack for each Death card in the graveyard? Yeah, this is the one that pierces. Oh, dude, broke um, and it's zeroed. It's zeroed out. Whew. Yeah, I think it's. Uh, I don't think he has any death bots in his grave, but he'll get the piercing in. What if he cited like a, a battle fader or some crap and <laughs> he drew into it? I would Yo, Gore's here would actually be really clutch. Oh yeah, dude, it really would. That be. would be like a five thousand like a five thousand attack token or some shit. For sure. Like, that would actually be insane. Um so effective three on seven. So it gets so that goes up to, so it goes up by uh, 35, and then each of the twos boosted by another 500. So that death bot's seven. So he's literally hitting them for 5,500 piercing. Chain. Wow. This is in damage. Oh man, who's he got? Well, this is in damage step. So he can't chain that. No, yeah, yeah, he can't. It. He caught it. Yeah. That's good. Because he played it smart. Yeah. So to, to seven doesn't activate. Piercing doesn't activate. Yeah. I love it when people say exactly what I'm saying in chat. Yeah. 
Like, yay, 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 I'm validated. It just, it, just makes me, it just makes me feel so smart. <laughs> well, you can't do that either, because damage death. Yeah, maybe maybe I can yeah. message one of them oh. or something. But, yeah. Vanish. I think he, yeah. I think he's just misclicking and trying to add it to his hand. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is legit game though. That that's fifty five from the seven piercing. And then the wrath. I mean he's gotta have battle fader. <laughs> battle yeah, like all of the all of the twos are a thousand. Let me do the math real quick. Here we go. This is the most this is the most important part of any deskbot player's game. Yeah. Like you got even, your calculator, like, your on, fucking like, Texas on, instruments like, calculator. <laughs> How do you how do you do them? You're literally killing them with calculators. Yeah. But you need a calculator to make sure that you're actually killing them. <laughs> He's actually at 55, unless I math that wrong. Um, no. Okay, so he thinks so. The twos don't boost themselves. I mean, it's still game, but the twos don't boost like themselves. They boost the other copies of two. Right. But yeah. Well, that happened. <laughs> wow, dude! Too uh, quick, two o oh, to. Take him, taking him out. down to the taking him down to the savage patch. Yeah, yeah, that uh, was that was really brutal. That to was. Watch. Uh, I think I think if anything, Nelson can be exonerated, knowing that his match wasn't the uh, wasn't the, the most quickest. Yeah, I mean, he was playing yeah. EA too, but like Spiral was just they they just didn't have a chance against that death spots, dude. And I don't feel like he drew the best either. Oh like, yeah, no, he didn't really draw that. Well, again, it spirals. See, I don't know what, like, if he was playing a hybrid or something, but I don't really think Spirals have a very strong turn one. No. Um, like, it's literally, it's kind of a more control-y thing. Um, yeah, it makes sense. So, yeah. Like, unless you have, like, a way to do, like, a one-for-one -one into Nat Beast thing, you really don't have that much of a strong turn one. For sure. Um, but, Damn. Yeah, too, 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 too soon. 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 Too soon.